Hey everyone, so we've made it to the E. This is our next vowel. Remember the English language has five vowel sounds. A, E, I, O, N, U, and sometimes Y. But basically there are five vowels, just so you know the rest of the letters are called consonants. So if you ever hear a consonant or a vowel, that is the difference. So you've done A already, and we're going to do E today. Now remember, there's two sounds for each of these vowels. There is the long vowel sound, which says its name, like eat or eel. I am not going to go over that today that much. I am going to go over the short vowel sound. I want to let you guys know, this is the biggest difference I would say between British English and American English and other kinds of English is how you say these vowels. So if you want an American accent, you need to watch what I do. If you want a British accent, you better go find a British person because I'm not the person to help you with that. Um, but let's go over A really quickly to review and then we're going to go to E because it's very similar. So let me get close. Hello. And um, the biggest difference is how wide you have your mouth. If you look at your tongue when you are saying A and E, it is going to be the same. This is your teeth and you're going to curl it under, not tightly, you're not pressing it, just lightly holding it there. And let me open my mouth and do it. Eh, eh. Okay, that's what it should look like. So if you do ah, nt, ant, okay, that's how you do a, but if you're gonna do like um, bed, b, ed, bed. Okay, do you see how my lips are closer together and my teeth are closer together? A is open wide. Ah, ah, ah. E is close together. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, it's not totally closed. That's going to be the I sound, but we're not there yet. So just concentrate on ah, 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 ah and hold your tongue there and you'll get that sound. That's what you're going for. So, ant, b, ed. Okay, now we can do a bigger word like elephant, elevator. Okay, you can do those kind of words, but I was trying to do short words with you. Now, a is kind of funny because I actually say it more with an a sound, egg, but a lot of people will say it, egg. So you can use the E sound, but for me personally, I say it more like a long vowel A sound almost, egg. Okay, so just know you, that's a little funny. Um, and I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, but that's the way me and a lot of my friends say it. So just so you know, that's kind of a California thing maybe. So just know it's actually pronounced both ways. Um, so just practice the A and the E concentrate on your mouth and how wide it is and then we're going to go to I and it's going to be eh, eh. it's going to be really tight and closed together okay so you're going to be moving through these and they're going to be similar and that's what's going to produce that sound that your guys are going to want to sound as native as possible so hopefully that helps so bed bet elevator egg um, you know, elephant. Practice those words. See if you can get it. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Bye.